Once again, it's the great god of sorcery. You know who I am, the great sorcerer. Yeah. And as we all know, that thoughts create reality. If you don't know, thoughts create reality. You understand? Your negative thoughts and your positive thoughts that you have about something comes from you. That's why I say to create your own myth or to control the myth. Don't be controlled by myths. In a lot of my old videos, yeah, I diss Jesus. Um, I put Jesus down. But I do things like that to free the person who has a religious way of thinking. Uh, it's not like I'm sitting back plotting how can I destroy Jesus. I know Jesus is a myth. You understand? And all myths can be controlled. And some people let the myth control them. You know, I know Jesus is not real, but a true conjurer can use whatever. They can use Jesus too if they wanted to. They can put Jesus and the devil on the same team and make them work together. <laughs> you say, damn, how can they do that? Well, with the understanding of self. If you know that self is the greater one, if you know that self is the one that creates, then you have the power. If you understand how the mind works, you understand that it is the mind that makes your beliefs real. You got to understand your power. Um, the sorcerer, you know what I'm saying? The sorcerer creates, controls, and changes the story. We don't follow other myths. You know, we don't follow other people's myths. We create our own myths to follow. Or we just create our own way. You understand? Um, we understand that it is the power of self that makes things work. A religious person will reject the self. Will reject self-power for a god or a goddess. But the great ones or a sorcerer becomes a god. Meaning, they become the one who creates. That's what a god does. A god creates, a goddess creates. You understand? So we become the creator. We create the story. You understand? We have the power to create. Um, so with this understanding, you know, the Christian devil can be your best friend. You can take the Christian devil from that story and create another story and make Satan, the Christian Satan, your best friend if you choose to but you you have to know the power of self first you have to know that it's self that makes the story real uh, a woman told me the other day you know she got she got tired of me you know got, got tired of me telling her that um, you know I was trying to well I was telling her about magic and she was trying to teach me about her Christian ways so she got tired of me and she was like, I'm just tired of you. You know, I'm going to tell my God Jesus on you. <laughs> I told her that I could make her Jesus curse her. And she looked at me like, whoa. <laughs> she couldn't believe it. You should have seen her face. Uh, I told her, you know, I can make Jesus curse you because I am the creator of the story. You did what I'm saying? And it's truth in that. Even though I don't use no energy named Jesus. But a true magician, a true conjurer can summon any energy. Because they understand that it is the self that makes it real. We control that energy. The sorcerer summons and controls. You understand? The Bible is full of mythology. You know, in the conjurer... The great magicians can use any mythology if they choose. Um, you know, religious people think that it was the myth that created them. But the true gods understand and know that it was us who created the myths. You see, myths can be used for several things. Some, some people use myths for motivation. Some use myths to trick others. 
Some use myths to hide secret knowledge within the myth. Some use myths to connect with their own energy. You know what I mean? They connect their energy with the myths. You dig? And they do this so they can cast spells or summon spirits. So, you know, mythology is a good thing if you know how to use it. You know, you don't let the myth control you. You control the myth or you create myths. Become the myth maker. You understand? Know your power. The power lives in self. Power lives in you. Um, there's many more things I want to talk about. Because uh, I watch a lot of YouTube videos. And I see what will be going on. Um, Baphomet. A lot of people are afraid of Baphomet. Or Baphomet. However you want to pronounce it. You know, Baphomet is a goat-like deity. Uh, this figure is also associated with the occult. To the Christians, well, the Christian church and the witch hunters, Baphomet was the Christian devil. You know, even though the Christian Bible does not describe Satan with any physical form, the Christian church decided that their devil would look like the old pagan goat headed God or the old pagan bull head God you know that's why they devil has cloven hooves horns and a tail they, they created their reality by stealing from others you see you see how the mind makes things real for for the believer you know what I'm saying they created reality for the ones who believe you understand you got to, you know, understand how the mind works. And on the flip side, see how the creators benefit. The ones who created Christianity. The ones who created religions. See how they benefit. See how they benefit from their creations. See, we all have this power to create and to believe. You can create and believe your own creation. You can create something and then believe in it so what will you do would you create or believe or would you create your own creation and believe in your own creation you feel me understand your power uh, in the old days of the occult a lot of monster figures you know a lot of monster figures monster pictures monster statues were often placed outside of the uh, temples in order to scare off the unwanted people you know the monster figures the monster pictures the monster statues was also used to scare off anyone who would let appearances alone scare them away from the hidden knowledge because see you don't deserve hidden knowledge if you're afraid of a picture or a statue regardless regardless of how it looks you know you have to look beyond the image and you have to look into the symbolism you know what I mean? You have to look beyond the image and into the symbolism of things. You know, you have to look into the symbolism. Then you will be able to access the inner mysteries. You understand? You gotta know your power. So, be the myth maker. Be the myth maker. Don't be controlled by myths. You know, you can take from others and make it yours. You know what I'm saying? You could you could be the one to say, okay, this is what God is, or you could be the one to say, okay, this is what Satan is, or this is what whatever is. You know what I'm saying? Because it's your story. But anyway, understand your power. Be a creator. Create your own way. Create your own beliefs. Understand the power of self. Understand the power of symbols. Understand the power of metaphysics. Understand the power of metaphors. You know, believe in yourself. When others don't believe in you, believe in yourself. I don't care if don't nobody believe in you, you believe in yourself. When you feel like no one loves you, love yourself. Love yourself even more. Love yourself ten times more. When you feel like no one loves you, love yourself. If you don't have no friends,
be your best friend you understand become best friends with yourself love yourself understand the power of self you know so many people are are caught up in the wrong way the right way black and white good and evil dark and light you know what I'm saying that they can't see through they gotta you gotta be able to see through it all understand that it all comes back to you and your feelings how you see it your thoughts you are the creator you create your reality whether you believe it or not so don't fear fear is the enemy anytime you got somebody trying to tell you to fear they want you to run away so they can do whatever they can do they can do what they want to do while you running away because they want you to fear so don't believe in their bullshit this end of the world shit don't believe that bullshit that's bullshit don't believe in that revelation shit and that shit in the bible was all bullshit they teach fear you understand don't fear the myth create myths or create reality and mythology is a good thing because once somebody understands the power of self they can use mythology to create reality you know mythology is something that can be used for you can use your mind powers to make things real but you gotta understand it's your power and not the power of the myth so understand who you are you are great you are beautiful. You are powerful. Know who you are. And I'm going to end this shit by saying, Black magic, black magic, black magic. Almighty self, we are.